Hello, my clean-shaven friends. Welcome to r slash just neckbeard things. Neckbeard cringe, the neckbeard stories, all the neckbeard things in one place. We got a couple posts to look at, and then we're going to look at a very, very cringy neckbeard story of questionable validity, but it's still entertaining nonetheless. So let's jump right into it. Looking you deep into the eyes. Let's do this. I'm not sure if that's your opening line or if you're telling me that you're about to say your opening line. Good. Holds out my hand. Your hand is in a compromising position. Are you trying to take my hand or slap me in the face? Takes yours. Smiles. Okay, I take your hand. So where is it that we're going? The bedroom. Leading you to the back. No, that's... that's not the bedroom at all. That's the kitchen. Our bedroom is through the kitchen. Don't judge. I didn't make this place. Turns and looks at you. No, that's also a kitchen. Why do you have so many kitchens? It's a guest kitchen. Finally in the bedroom. Why are there other people here? And is that a bunk bed? Oh my god. This is an Ikea. Why are you trying to proposition me in an Ikea? Why are you ruining my plans? My roleplay? It's not my fault you thought you lived in this Ikea. Just let me do my roleplay, please! We aren't in Ikea. We are in a very fancy condo in Portland. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Your condo looks Swedish and has the word Ikea written on every wall. Can we just have an entire subreddit of people messing with role players? I mean, I know we have creepy asterisks, but a lot of times it's just too creepy and everybody's talking about cummies and stuff. I just want to watch wholesome people mess with role players. All right, this might be one of my favorite posts of all time. DIY fall decor tip. Get a cat and candles. She might have learned how to look sexy from the one who is looking after her and taking care of her. LOL, well, she's my boyfriend's cat, so I think that makes sense. Huh, that came out wrong. Hellameo. No homo. This is good laughter. Thanks. Hold on. You said she. She portrays the sexiness of a female. That's what I meant. Hence, she learnt it from your boyfriend's girlfriend. Oh, this is just entirely a masterpiece. I mean, come on. Nobody even called this cat sexy. There's nothing that says the cat is sexy in the post. And this guy's just like, hey, check out this sexy cat. I wonder where she learned it from. Probably you. And then she's like, no, nah, it's my boyfriend's cat. I have a boyfriend. Please get away from me. And he's like, I'm not fucking gay. Like, oh my God. How much good shit can you get in one post? So this happened yesterday and I'm still just relishing it. So there's this comic book shop in my town that I go to infrequently. It's very close clean, well-stocked, run well, and the staff is versed in anything you might want. The latest Spider-Man? Got it. An independent lesbian dungeon crawler comic? Yup, got that. A decent selection of manga and imports? I've been told it's good. I go there to pursue their graphic novels and collected editions, as I'm old and grumpy and don't have the money to buy single issues for the most part. Anything you want, the owner will order on the spot, and contact promptly when it's available. Really good guy, really good shop. Anyway, I had the day off, so I was wandering the downtown and ducked in to see if anything of interest came up. I get greeted by the store dogs, give them some belly rubbings, and then set off into the stacks, looking for some collected X-Men comics. When I'm back there, I notice this... This odor, like old cheese and gym socks. I sniff my own pits trying to see if it's me, then actually pull a couple of books off the shelves to see if any of them are rotting. Nope, nothing so benign. Instead, I catch a glance of this wondrous example of masculinity. He's rotund, he's wrapped in a trench coat, and he has no neck. It's like someone just plopped a hairy bowling ball on a pair of shoulders. I try not to stare as he does actually have a neck beard and a broad-brimmed hat. He looked like a goth Amish. He's ignoring me, so I do the same. Just about that time, I hear the shop dogs go skittering across the wooden floor to greet the next customer. A lady's voice coos and then happy pants as the dogs accept the customer bribe. I find a collection of Will Eisner spirit comics, check the price, and then head up towards the counter. I glance over to the young lady who's playing with the dogs, and I gotta admit, she's cute. Short, blonde, wearing striped leggings and a denim jacket covered in pins. She looks up at me, and I give her a casual wave and go about my business. She's at most half my age, so I try my best to not not to be creepy. Now this is where the story just takes a turn that I won't ever forget. The owner pulls out the hold box and places two books on the counter. Before I know it, I nearly get bowled over by Amish Beard, who's come lumbering over from the stacks like he'd heard the siren call of his people. Ah, milady, I see that you love manga too. He stands far too close to this poor woman, and I'm trying not to gawk. I've read the stories here a lot, been amused by them, but not once in my life have ever actually heard somebody called milady outside of a renaissance fair. 
Uh, yeah, I really like Kakagarugi. I think that's what she said. And apparently there's this ongoing series called Kakagarugi Vampire Gambler. I had to look this up when I got home. And Amish Beard just snorts derisively. Uh, that's okay, I suppose. But a lady of your caliber shouldn't read something so violent. Might I suggest that I guide you back into the stacks so I might show you wondrous treasures such that you've never seen before. He's leering at this young woman and the owner and I share a glance of, Are you fucking kidding me? The woman looks very uncomfortable and shakes her head. No, I'll just pay for these and... Amish Beard lays his hand on the books and actually takes them from the counter. For shame, I promise you. Don't waste your money on these. Come, I'll show you something that you'll absolutely... He's reaching for the lady's retracting arm when the store is cut through like lightning. Quit it! Amish Beard looks up, startled as the owner growls at him. Leave her alone, you're bothering her. Amish Beard looks shocked and rears up to his full height. He's a bit taller than I am at 5'10 and nearly half as wide, so he does look a little intimidating. I put down my book and cross my arms, just witnessing this. The poor girl takes a step back and the dogs are looking perplexed. Master is unhappy. Why is Master unhappy? Who made Master unhappy? We must slobber on them. Amish Beard sneers at the owner. This doesn't concern you. My shop, my customers, my rules. Yeah, it does. I spend hundreds of dollars. Oh, shut your stupid ass pie hole. The owner is building up a head of steam and I watch in fascination at full blown venting. You come in here twice a week, spend three hours stinking up the joint, and if I'm lucky, you'll spend $10 on some mainstream manga that even Naruto fans would find dumb. You harass the other customers and now you're this close to manhandling an actual good customer. Get out of my shop, you're banned. Amish Beard looks around for support, and there's only me, the silent witness. I shake my head. Don't look at me, Sparky. You're being an ass. Amish Beard deflates, flaps his arms, and storms out, the dogs barking at his heels. Well, as close as these two confused hounds can bark. The room returns to normal, just the wisps of B.O. to tell of his passing. Nothing else to tell, really. Lady got a discount, I bought my comic, and went for a delicious sandwich. I wish I could say I ran into Amish Beard, but that would have been just too perfect. First thing I want to say about this story, and I could get a ton of hate for this, but I don't like the idea of having dogs inside of a retail store. I don't know. Maybe you guys would find it to be comforting and fun and something to do while you're shopping around the store. I personally love dogs, but I would find it, like, annoying, and maybe it would turn off certain customers that don't like dogs. Like, not everybody wants dogs sniffing on their ankles while they're trying to pick out a comic book. I don't know. That's my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think about that. And with the dog thing sort of being beside the point, I don't know, this story comes off to me as r slash that happened, and I know you could say that about literally any Reddit post, there's no way to confirm or deny the validity, but I just don't see a comic book store owner calling out a neckbeard in this way. Like, I don't mind him calling out a neckbeard, go ahead, own a neckbeard, I love to see it happen, but I don't see him calling him out for liking mainstream manga that even Naruto fans would find dumb. Like, wouldn't mainstream manga enthusiasts be your biggest customer? base like at least in the manga category like not everybody's into super obscure and little known runs of comics and stuff like most people are into mainstream crap why would you shit on that as a comic book store owner like you could potentially turn off these other two people that are in the store with you in this neckbeard and maybe that's a little bit nitpicky, but I don't know. I just don't see a responsible business owner alienating that large a portion of their customer base just to own this neckbeard. And then when Amish Beard looked to OP for support and OP said, don't look at me, Sparky, I don't think a single person has ever said that in the history of humanity. So that really just made me cringe. If it happened, I would have cringed my dick off if I was in that fucking room and somebody said, don't look at me, Sparky. But let me know, do you think that this actually happened, that something like this could happen? I think that something like this did happen, but then the original poster just sort of played it up, made it more dramatic to get upvotes on Reddit. Hey, if you'd like to come watch the least terrible neckbeard you know, get more comfortable with being a neckbeard on camera, come hang out on Twitch tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be celebrating my buddy Fwomp's birthday, just playing some RuneScape, talking to chat, checking out your selfies and art and pictures of your cats on Discord and the validation station. It's always a good time. I have fun. So 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, twitch.tv slash your cue. There's going to be links in the comments and the description for that sort of thing. I hope to see you there, but if you can't, there'll be a brand new video for you on the channel tomorrow so skate on rollerbladers to the best of your abilities i hope you're drinking more water out there and i hope to see you very soon